Hello, welcome back to Breath of the Wild. So on the last episode, I ran around and I did a couple of shrines. I found uh, quite a few Kor Kor <laughs> I found quite a few Koroks too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I did a couple of side quests here in Kakariko Village because if I did this right, and I'm not 100% sure that I did, uh, we should have the other shrine available to us. Yep, there she is. Hi, Pur Paya. Pur is the other one. I'm sorry. L Link. I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I... What should I do? What's wrong, Paya? What's wrong? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen! And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom's secret... Oh, no, don't, don't cry, Paya. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the blessing of antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines. And that the heirloom is the key that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing was stolen! I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from morning to dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. This place is off limits to outsiders. And no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? Maybe. People suck, Paya. Someone with evil intent came into this sacred place. I'm glad Grandmother is safe, but I still feel so violated. Link, Paya is afraid that the thief may still be nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? Sure, I could do that. I like Paya. She's great. Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked with Doyen and Kato, but they said they didn't see anyone other than villagers around. I'll try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you don't spot any suspicious move, if you spot any suspicious movement at night, don't approach. Okay, sure. That's fine. Um, yeah, you go ahead and go. See if she's written anything new in her diary. Uh, let's see. It looks like Pi's diary. Must not look. Must not look. I believe we read the first page. Yeah, Grandmother says she conspired. They put a lone swordsman to sleep. Since then, Grandmother's been waiting. I, too, pray for the sake of Hyrule. Ha After sleeping for ages, Master Link has finally awoken. It seems his memory is completely gone. Oh, yeah, this is Pi. I guess I could... Well, it doesn't matter. But that hardly mattered to Grandmother. I believe this is the first time I've ever seen her quite so happy. Master Link himself looks so gallant. He's the very picture of the hero I always imagined. His blonde sideburns flow like a golden waterfall over his dignified, pointy ears. And the way his hair is so perfectly parted to the side. Wow. I don't know why, but my heart won't stop beating a mile a minute. That's so cute. She's got a little crush on Link. Aw. That's, that's great. And, and you know what? Link would do well. She's a cutie. She's absolutely a cutie. I love Paya. Alright, let's... um. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember what to do uh, for this quest. So I don't know what we're looking for. But uh, we're going to have to be our our utmost stealthiest. Except um, I assume we're going to have to wait later into the night. Come on. Can we, let's. Here, let's. Why don't, why don't we get up here and not. No. Maybe. Yes. Yes. All right. Perched up like I'm Batman. Um, now that I've done this, I'm wondering if, uh, <laughs> if we're going to have a, uh, a distance problem seeing what we're looking for. I mean, it's someone with a big glowing orb, right? It should be pretty easy to spot. I'm actually surprised that there's no Koroks up here either. Huh. Okay. All right. Let us wait. 
Hello? What are you doing? Nobody knows, huh? Oh, I know. What are you doing down there? I'm watching you. All right. We're going to have to be the stealthiest I've ever been, which is unfortunate because I'm actually really bad at like stealth games. But that's okay. We've got this. <laughs> yeah? What are you doing over there? What do you think you're doing? Haha, -ha, I caught you! Ha! Ah. Ah. Yeah? I guess I can't keep it a secret any longer. Not even Clary knows. This is where the love of my life sleeps. No other guy has been able to stack up. He passed a long time ago. But I come here every now and then to be with them. Uh, that's not what I was expecting. Also, really sad. Aww. Heirloom? You mean that thing in Impa's house? Did you steal it? Probably not. Aww. What? Why would I steal something like that? Aww. Are you... Are you following me because you think I'm a suspect? Yeah. I like how honest he is about it. How awful of you. I'm sorry, lastly. I mean, to be fair, you're sneaking around. I, You know what? You go. You do your thing. I'm so sorry. Beetle. Also, there's a shrine over there. Okay, I can't get too distracted. I want this beetle. Thank you. Let's, uh... No, let's, uh... Go ahead and mark that. Let's get back to snooping on people. I think it would probably be best if I wasn't directly out in the open. Let's see here. Hello? You doing something suspicious? Yeah. Hey, you... Caught me orange handed. Yes, I'm a big fan of carrots, but my old man hates them. So sometimes I sneak out at night to get my fill. Please don't tell my husband. Where's the heirloom, Grandma? You mean that garish thing in Impa's house? Garish? What? D look, did you steal it? <coughs> Is that any way to talk to an old woman? I almost choked on my carrot. Impa gave me the plum tree orchard. And yes, the orchard may be an heirloom of this village, but it's technically mine. You young people. No, I'm looking for a ball. I just need a ball. Someone's got to have it. Is it in here? No. Boy, there's a lot more suspicious people in this village than I thought. Alright, Grandma, you enjoy your carrots. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is Nana's house. Yeah, so she doesn't have it. Son of a gun, I don't remember where it's at. I'm pretty sure the place I need to go is up past the Great Berry Fountain. And I don't think that they... I don't think it's taken up there. You think it's the little kids causing mischief? It might be. It very well might be. No. No, they're good little eggs. Alright. Dude his chickens? No. Can anybody give me a clue as to what I'm supposed to be doing here? That filthy thief. 
Me and Dorian were standing guard the entire time. How did they get past us? The only people we let through were known villagers. Yes, villagers who? Yes, known villagers are free to come and go as they please. I think the only people that stopped by around the time that Heirloom went missing were Lastly and Melly. They used to come around noonish, but lately they've been stopping by at night. They must be too busy to stop during the day. Uh... Who's... who's Melly? Hmm? You need something? I haven't seen you around here before. But there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, yes. I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. Hylian's age really well, right? If it's been a hundred years and he knows me, right? That means he's at least a hundred and seven. I don't know. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back when? <laughs> Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you were really that noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade. The sword that seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is... He trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his entire body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's what my grandfather always used to say, anyway. So I suggest you stop uh, joking around and all, and uh, have a carrot. Oh, cool. I'll take a free carrot. That's nice. Looking for carrots? You can buy some. All right. Thanks, Steen. Was that old lady I talked to the... Was that Me Melly? Is that your name? Yeah, it is. Alright, so at this point, I think I'm pretty sure that it's one of the guards. <laughs> so, hey, where's 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 your friend? Yeah, where's Dorian? Where did, uh, is he the guy that lives in the, uh, the chicken house? Because if he is, he's not there. What the heck? Okay. Well, it's... I know it's the other guard. Well, now I know. Did he take it up to where it's supposed to go? I'm running out of time, dude. It's 3 in the morning. I don't know how much time I have to do this. What are you doing, dude? No, that's a different guy. Have you come to look at the castle, too? I know the light swirling around the castle is the manifestation of pure evil and all, but it's kind of beautiful. I sometimes come up here at night to look at it, but I could never tell my old lady or the village about it. That's fair. Did you see the other guy, though? God dang it. I don't want to have to wait a whole nother day to do this. Even though, honestly, I could just, like, sit by the fire. Ah, there it is. Oh, man, did I mess up? I know you're there. Show yourself. Ooh. You don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the one who stole the heirloom. Ha! <laughs> Such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why did you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. Mm. You did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you. But first... It appears we have an audience. Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. A couple things. 
First things first. Uh, I, I actually think I'm going to need to use a better weapon. Uh... Oh, man. Actually, let's use the hoe. And then... Oh, my God! Okay. Wait, hold on. I'm going to take a picture of you. <laughs> That's really important to me right now. All right. Ow, god dang. All right. Lesson learned. Do not let him hit you. I just said, do not let him hit you. Oh, man. I, uh, I probably should have saved. Yeah, I definitely should have saved. Whoa. Hey, guy. I need that for blocking attacks and stuff. All right, come on. Come on. God, he already restored all of his health. God dang, dude. Okay. This isn't going well for us. Ha ha ha! All right. All right, come on, man. Okay. That's it's fine that my sword broke. I have another. Shoot. Dang it. All right, I'm pretty confident that I can kill this guy. Pretty confident. Although, now that I think about it. Okay, hold on. Let's uh go ahead and actually put on my good armor here. Let's make sure I have everything worth using. Because this guy is strong, so it's a good excuse to use my really good weapons and such. I mean, that's why I have it. I could also probably stand to eat some food. Alright, let's get past this cutscene. Alright, wait. Picture time. What a photogenic lad. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, as long as as long as I take it slow and we Ah, jeez. Okay. Um Okay, hold on. I think I Yeah, I did. I made some I made some tough food. So let's go ahead and eat one of those, huh? Shh, that didn't help at all. All right. Uh Jeez, dude. God damn it. What? Ah! I'm at least taking a picture of this bloopy. I will throw myself at this guy a thousand times if I have to. I'm going to kill him. I know I can do it. It's just... I kind of have to do the fight almost perfectly. I can only take... I think three hits, right? Because I, I have, I think I have three fairies. I don't have a whole lot. Also, I'm going to save right here. That way I don't have to keep making this run. Okay, first things first. Always picture. Always got to take the picture first. Okay, that's good. Second, we're going to, uh, I think I made some food that makes me stronger. Yes. Yes, right here. Okay. I could eat that. Or I could just drink the, you know what? Let's drink the elixir. Come on, swing, bud. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Ow. I, I really thought I jumped out of the way in time. Jeez, dude, come on. All right, all right. Come on, come on. See, the problem is he starts regenerating health, like, immediately, dude. Mm. 
Alright. Ha! Alright. Alright. All right. Come on. Swing at me again. Come on. Ha ha ha! You got nothing, man. I figured you out. Alright. Alright. Get back here. Uh. Oh, boy. All right, come on, swing. Swing, buddy. Huh. Shoot. Okay. Oh! 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 I, you should come back up here, dude. Oh man, this is truly a, a hardcore fight. All right, come on, bud. <laughs> no, you're going down. Oh, give me that. Wind Cleaver, hell yeah. A sword favored by high-ranking members of the Yiga. When wielded by a proficient fighter, its unique shape cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. If we let him go, there's no telling what he might do. Let's finish this. I kind of already did, man. Killed him and drowned him in the water. I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am a member of the Yiga clan. Or I used to be, anyway. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. And so I tried to change my ways. Tried to leave the clan. But the Yiga... They took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children. So I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and the village in exchange for safety. But my grief over losing my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided that I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me if I... They told me they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks maybe you can. Paya and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now please, restore this heirloom to its pedestal. I will. I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab this though. Can I take a picture? No, I can take a picture of this uh, mushroom though. I'm gonna take lots of pictures, okay? Just lots of pictures, alright? It's really important to me. Alright? Link's a hero, but he he also has passion as a as a budding photographer, okay? Let's pick up this wood too. Portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Nice. Silent room. That's really good. We have a lot of stealth items. Uh, which I enjoy. I enjoy immensely. Did that guy drop anything else, like in the water? Where are you going, Master Link? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. It's really complicated, but if you watch closely, you'll see the secret technique. See, you simply set it in the hole. Takes a real hero to figure that out. Nice. The shrine. So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link, I... I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but... Do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy. But I want my children, Coco and Katla, to suck... I don't want my children to suffer anymore. That'd be really weird if he did. I missed a key word. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village 
and my family from now on. No matter the cost. Alright, dude. Fantastic. I, I, I kind of forgot that we were going to have to fight that dude. Um, that was, that was a bit, but I got a, I got a little bit of practice in for doing the, um, what do you call it? The parries, the parries and the jumping. Also, uh, it was a good, it was a good lesson in consuming food, right? Make sure you, you get eight hours of rest and eat your mighty bananas before every combat, kids. Fantastic. This is one of the shrines where the act of getting to it actually constitutes the, the challenge of the shrine. So I don't have to do anything. I just get a treasure chest and I get a spirit orb. Oh my god. Edge of duality. A curious double-edged sword used... Jeez Louise. A curious double-edged sword crafted using Sheikah technology. It was originally made for Hyrulean knights unfamiliar with single-edged blades. My inventory is full. Well, we're going to have to drop something stupid like maybe a farming hoe. Who needs that? When you got this sick-ass sword. <laughs> Alright. And then I got... Man, this one's awesome. I need to take a picture of it, but also it looks cool as heck. All right. Fantastic. That worked really well for us. Mostly. I mean, minus the, the couple of times I died. But other than that, everything else worked great. Is there a treasure chest in here? Nope. So. Here's the plan. Right? I want to get... I want to do more shrines. I definitely want to do more shrines. But... But, I also don't want to spend all my time <laughs> looking for shrines. I'd rather, I'd rather just find, uh, you know, just, just go around, get the shrines that I find, and then later on as we, we get towards the end, we can find the others and wrap it up. Uh, in the meantime, I think the best course of action is to go to the Zoras. I always like to start with the Zora first. Because they're freaking cool. Also, I believe it's the closest one to me geographically. Uh, yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure this is Death Mountain. And this is where the, the Rito are. And this is where the Gerudo is. So yeah, by process of elimination, that thing that I said was totally true is definitely true. This is where the Zora are. And that's where we're going to go. Okay? Alright? Um, also, I need to uncover the map for this area. So let's do that too. Is my horse nearby at all? No! Ertet couldn't hear my... <laughs> Crap! Uh, actually, it's because he's marked on the map right there. I'm such a stupid idiot. I just need to look with my eyes. My wife and I lived in an area once where we would drive and uh, there was this tunnel. This is a random story, but I'm going to throw it out there. There was a tunnel that we had to go through. And um, up above the tunnel on like a cliffside, there were houses that always reminded us of these houses here. So we always called them the Hateno houses, the Hateno houses, whatever they are. But it's always what it made us think of. This little charming abode can be ours for the steep price of uh, whatever the hell this guy wants for it. Um, he's around here somewhere. Or maybe I have to talk to one of those guys. Oh, no, here he is. Morning. Need something from me? Yeah, what are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know? So the villagers decided it was best to just tear it down. I can buy it. Oh, get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition costs with associated fees, permits, and other such details come in at 50,000 rupees. So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you? 
Okay. I'm sure someone's probably already figured this out. If you had 50, can you even carry 50,000? If you had 50,000, you think you could just buy this, right? I mean, that'd be stupid, but you could do it. That's impossible. <laughs> Figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems too. So I know how it feels all too well. All right. All right, look. Here's the deal. Just for you, I'll cut you a special price of three thousand rupees but in return i'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles building materials you know how it is anyway you understand the terms then get to it and show me what you're built out of that's a construction joke oh. hudson carson stop what you're doing you got it Cool. I like this guy. It's kind of crazy that he cuts it down uh, by like a significant margin. <laughs> it's an absurd price cut, but I, you know, I'm not going to complain. Why would I complain? That'd be ridiculous. Also, um, you know what? Before we get going, I'm going to do one more thing. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I thought I had uh, what I needed to upgrade the the remote bombs. I thought it needed three springs, but it needs three ancient shafts. So I've got plenty of springs, not enough shaft. All right, uh, let's see. Our horse is around here somewhere. He's just hanging out. I forgot I, I just left him on this cliffside because I got frustrated with him. All right. Cute little fox, but we're not going to worry about that. So what we need to do... You're all right, buddy. What we need to do first is... Aha! We're going to the tower. Whoa! <laughs> Stupid loser. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's get over to this tower. Let's get that marked up. So that way we can actually have this whole area... Jeez. I'm sorry, guy. I'm so sorry, Dirtet. I did finally make my commander deck for Urtet, by the way. I don't know if you remember that, but I named this guy after a Magic the Gathering card that I really wanted to make a deck for. And I finally did it. And it is very mildly okay. <laughs> I love horsies. Love them more than people. People smell funny and talk all the time, but not horsies. Horses is just rad. Okay. Cool. Well, I love my horses too. They're not so special. But I am staying away from those guys. They are scary. Uh, What are you... Okay. Maybe my horse is a little strange. Whoa! Ah, oh, goodness. Ah, oh, golly. Ha <laughs> ha Stupid loser. Come on. And throw it. Uh, where the hell did my boomerang go? Why do I keep thinking that's a good idea? Alright, that takes care of him. Oh, God. Okay. Um, why don't we uh, try to... There we go. Get ready. Uh, that seemed to work pretty well. Um, hello, sir. Random citizen. Who was getting attacked by these guys? I hope he didn't die. Um, man, I'm not going to lie. The whole reason I stopped was to save him. And now it feels like it was all for naught. Hmm. Well, that's what we in the business call a bummer. 
I'd, I'd love to get the... the stuff, but... Well... Wow, man. All right, come on, hop back up. Ow. Jeez, dude. All right, got an eyeball, a balloon. I'm stuck. Things are working well for us right now. All right. That's great. Let's just get let's get back over here before we freaking die. No. Okay. All right. That's actually a problem. I'm so stupid. All right. Now let's 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 climb on it, Link. How's that sound, huh? You want to cli climb on it? No. No. Shoot. Okay. Let's just climb up the cliff face. It's unbelievable that I had to waste really good food on that. But that's fine. I've got more stamilla shrooms. And I'm pretty sure I know why I can get more honeycombs. So everything's... Everything is, is peachy keen. Not even a problem. Take a picture of the fox. Great. Let's go get the stupid tower. Ooh, okay. We got a lot of we got a lot of enemies coming up here. New strong foes that I simply do not wish to deal with. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. So I'm just gonna run them over with my horse. Oh, hey, come on, man. We barely grazed it. Let's let's pick it up here, buddy. Okay. Doing, I'm, I'm a little concerned. Actually, I'm a lot less concerned now that we're up here. Thanks, buddy. I love you. You know what? You deserve a little carrot. You like carrots, right? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, you know what? This looks like a good job for uh, fire arrows. Yeah. That way I can actually climb up and not have to worry about all these goddamn thorns. And I think that'll work. Yes, maybe? Did that work? Yeah, it did. And you. There we go. It should be good enough for me to get up there. I think. Uh, uh. Oh, man, no, I think I need I think We need one more I think that'll do huh. All right up the tower Ooh, hey, it's another treasure chest over there. I sure would like that this guy sucks though Kind of looks like he has a nice bow though Either way, we're almost up to the top of this tower. All I got to do is not touch all these brambles here. The brambles. The brambles. Freaking real jerk move to put them right here. Some of these towers are uh, it's just not worth it to climb. But also, I enjoy having the map fully uncovered. It's very nice. It's pleasant. Nice. It's a big old... Big old chunk of land. Absolutely love it. Now this guy. Huh. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? I'd really I'd really like to uh to try my luck at that, but I don't think I can make that. I don't think I could make that at all. But uh, I guess we'll never know. 
Or maybe we will on the next episode. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Gotten a little bit done. On the next episode, though, I think we're going to start our journey off to Zoro's domain. I've done a modest amount of goofing around, but we should probably get this plot rolling. And who knows? We'll get ever, ever closer to our first real boss. That guy that we fought was, was kind of a mini boss. He was tough, though, man. He, he was killing me in one hit, so that's... A little worrying, but we'll figure it out going forward, and I hope you're looking forward to it. In the meantime, if you made it this far into the episode, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm, bye!